it's the start of a new vlog. I am in Minnesota. Um, there's really not as much snow as I had originally anticipated there being, but that's a fi fine. That's okay. <laughs> I'm feeling a little sleepy right now. It's uh, I woke up around at three, and it's two thirty Central Time now. So that means it's twelve thirty Pacific time. So it's not too bad, but. Traveling always makes me a little tired. I did take a quick nap on the plane and I read quite a bit. So right now I am gonna um, clean the plane off of me. I'm gonna wash my hair and do a face mask and the like and get changed and stuff. And I've got about an hour and a half until I'm gonna meet up with my manager and I think we're gonna plan to meet our um, colleagues, people people um around five for dinner and things like that but we might go exploring beforehand um I did start reading uh oh my gosh what is that book called A Court of Thorns and Roses <laughs> by Sarah J Mass and I made it through chapter eight so I'm around like 80 pages I want to say and I'm liking the story so far. Um, I wasn't so keen on the reason for why Feyre decided to kill the wolf in the woods. Um, because, like, I can be fine with hunting as long as you're hunting to provide. But she um, did it out of spite. And then didn't even, like, she used the skin and stuff, but didn't even utilize the meat or anything like that. Which always rubs me the wrong way. But, um, the story is intriguing so far. I think her family is absolutely horrible. But I can see also why she wants to, um, protect them and stuff so much. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. We'll see where it goes from here. Um, I'm waiting for Resand, Resand, Re, Re, I don't know what his name is, um, to enter because I think there's like a lovey thing between Feyre and him, but so far we haven't met him yet. So that's about that. Um, I'm going to get all cleaned up now and then maybe I'll go walk around the grounds or something and show you what it looks like here. There's just, um, some trees that are naked right now with no leaves and a bit of snow. Not too much snow though, but yeah, nice and chilly. So we'll see what the rest of the day has in store and I'll hopefully um, be able to check in with you with something at some point sometime soon. <laughs> too tired to even think about talking to the camera. Um, I also met up with one of my co-workers who flew in from Dundee and we sat probably for an hour and a half together and then I came up to the room, unpacked a little bit, had to wash my face um, and steam the dress that I'm wearing. But I want to do a quick little room tour for you and then um, I can chat with you about uh, where I am with A Court of Thorns and Roses. All right, so walking into the room, you've got the bed and a desk straight ahead, a nice full length mirror I'll show you, closet, um, just doorstop, nothing on that side. 
but on this side is the bathroom, which I have um, all of my stuff spread out. Right now it's got a nice little mirror there um, with lights around it. And here is the shower, which is really cool. It's got one of those um, waterfall uh, shower heads, but pretty nice. And then coming into the room, we've got the full length mirror here. Hi again. Um, closet which I've got some shirts in there that I will need to steam and stuff. And then along here is just desk. Um, they always leave a welcome card with two bottles of Fiji water. And then every night uh, at turndown, you've got little treats that they leave. And last night was some little French pastries. Um, I had one of them. I've got my um, packing things there. There's a chair, which is not very comfortable. And then here's the bed. Um, it's got this cool little mural over it. I usually get um, a room with two queens, but this time I got one with just a king. And then there's this massive mirror on the wall. I've got my um, Kindle and phone charger on the bedside table here. And then there's a nice big window, which I'm looking at the Aaron Condren building again. And then at the foot of the bed, there's a little um, bench. We've got uh, what I found out last time are the same books that they have in every room. We've got The Little Prince and Black Beauty. And then here's my outside view. Um, not super pretty, but it's, it is what it is. And then there's the Aaron Condren building. Last time I was here, the paper was hanging off of the side, so it looks like they redid it. But yeah, there is that. So A Court of Thorns and Roses is going pretty well. Um, we're learning quite a bit more about the, not so much the magic system, just what's happening to the magic in Printhian. And, um... Thera is finally at a point where she's uh, kind of trusting of Tamlin more, or Tanlim? Tanlim or Tamlin. And um, she doesn't necessarily trust Lucian, but she, they're in a good rhythm together. Um, so yeah, she's learning just about what else is happening to the land and uh, definitely sensing that she's gonna want to help out and do something here soon. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I need to check in with Darshell because I'm really curious about when a certain love interest pops in and I really like Tamlin. So if he comes in and just ruins the, uh, maybe not ruins, but if he, um, I don't know, breaks that up, I'm going to be a little upset to begin with. So I want to figure out, um, when that guy comes in. But for right now, I am basically going to go out and get something to eat. I think I'm just gonna get a salad. Um, and then there's a cupcake vending machine right across the road from me. So I'm gonna get one of those for dessert tonight. And I might actually even bring my Kindle with me to the restaurant since it's just me and read while I eat. That way I've got something to occupy my time. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, and then come back and just kind of relax. I'm feeling uh, a little worn out by all the traveling um, so far this week. So I'd like just a nice night in. Uh, and then tomorrow we're doing kind of a team activity. We're going to this place in the domain called the Punch Bowl. And um, I think they've got like a mini golf inside. I know they've got bowling and some other things. So we're gonna do some fun things and have dinner together as a team. And then I fly out Friday. So um, yeah, that's that's what my evening's looking like. But I'm gonna get going now because it's about five o'clock, I think. And I like to eat dinner early. Um, 
And then I just want to come back here and snuggle in the bed and read until I'm tired. I'll probably go to sleep by like 7 tonight just because I stayed up so late last night. So if um, anything interesting happens in the book, I will definitely keep you posted tonight. If not, um, I don't know, maybe I'll take you with me to the punch bowl tomorrow. We'll see. So I will check in at some point soon. some reason the GoPro is not turning on and it had plenty of battery yesterday when I um, stopped filming so I don't know if it's just drained or what's going on and naturally um, my laptop backpack is in the office so I can't even oh and my chargers are in there which is uh, why I can't even charge it right now to see if it'll turn on but um, tonight is my last night in Austin. Uh, I went to the Punch Bowl Social in the Domain with my colleagues and we had dinner there and also uh, played a round of bowling. I got third place, I think, or second. And I wasn't happy about it, but it's okay. Um, and then we walked down to Wonder Bar, which is this like super Instagrammy sort of place. Um, I'll put in a little bit of B-roll after this. Uh, but yeah, it, it was interesting. Um, I would be okay if I didn't go there again. <laughs> um, and then now I am at my hotel. I'm going to read a little bit of A Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, made it to the 50% mark last night, and I have so many questions I'm asking Darshell, who I'm buddy reading this with, about um, Resand and Tamlin and Feyre, because right now I'm hardcore shipping Feyre and Tamlin, and I know that Feyre and Resand are together, so I have all these theories, like, one of my main theories is that uh, Resand and Tamlin are the same person, which I don't know how they could be, because um, Tamlin basically has a mask fused to his face, and he is um, light-haired, and Resand is dark-haired, but I think maybe Resand is the High Lord of the Night court but I'm still I'm just speculating at this point um, I told Darshell it's gonna be really fun when I figure out what's going on to <laughs> go back to all my theories and um, realize how far off I was so that'll be fun when we get to that um, but I'm probably gonna read at least one chapter it's already nine o'clock um, so I'll probably wake up around like 6 tomorrow to be in the office at normal time and then I leave around 4 I think is usually when my pickup happens. And then I don't fly out until almost 8 o'clock. Um, so I've got plenty of time at the airport to grab some food and read a lot. Uh, so I'll be able to get more reading done tomorrow. and. I'll probably end up falling asleep on the plane, <laughs> who knows, but I am really excited to go home. It's a Maddie Boy weekend, and I just, I really like being home. Um, it's always fun coming down here, but after two days, I'm over it, <laughs> um, but I think next time I come down will probably be in July, which means I should be able to bring the boys with me, which would be a lot of fun, because I'd, I'd really like to experience Austin with them. Um, especially uh, like get out and about and actually see more of the city than I've seen and like take Maddie to Barton Springs and um, like paddle boarding or something on, on Lady Bird um, Lake and just things like that. So yeah, 
that's my little bit of an update right now. Um, I'm going to keep reading, like I said, and uh, see how far I can get before I fall asleep. Um, so I probably won't check in tomorrow uh, just because it's going to be a busy, busy day and I'm not going to vlog at the airport though. I don't know, there might be some b-roll, who knows. Um, and then I get home super late and I'm just going to want to wash my face and snuggle the dogs and fall asleep. Um, so probably next time we actually talk will be Saturday, but uh, I don't know, if I see anything interesting, I'll I'll show it to you. So um, yeah, for now, I, I will just catch up with you when I catch up with you. I am back home again. Um, it's just Saturday. So not much time has passed, though I didn't talk to the camera yesterday, I don't think. Um, I got to the airport really early, which is typical for me um, when I leave Austin. And by the time I got on the plane, I only had like 131 pages left to read of A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I made it through chapter 41 before I fell asleep on the plane. Um, so for my ebook, I am on page 376 out of 421. So I'm 87% of the way done. Almost there. Um, I'm actually gonna sit down now and hang out with the boys, but um, be in the same room with them. But I do wanna finish the book. It's really interesting. Um, I was talking with Darshell and she said the last section of it was like a super page turner for me and this whole book has been a page turner for me so um it's really intriguing right now the kind of trials that Feyre is going through to prove her love um so I'm interested to see how that ends and I'm still not entirely sure how she ends up with Resan instead of Tamlin and sorry if that's a spoiler but it's a spoiler I've known even going into this um and for me personally I think it's interesting trying to come up with theories of how they end up together because he's not nice and I don't like him I'm so for Tamlin <laughs> um I got an uh book outlet order while I was gone and then I also got a geek gear order I ordered um they had a really good sale on discounting like past wand boxes and I think I got three for it was either like $19.99 or $29.99 I want to say it was the $29.99 so I'm going to show you those um and I'll just quickly like pan through the books that I got from book outlet because I will do a book haul um at the end of the month or like beginning of February, whenever I decide to do it. So I'll show you what books I got and then um, get this package somewhat opened so that way you don't have to listen to all the crinkling and then I'll show you what wands that I got as um, a kind of like mystery package. So we'll be right back. All right, I decided on Geek Gear first so that I didn't have to mess up <laughs> my camera angle. Um, I got three wands. Uh, degree a decree poster and a philosopher's stone replica so we'll start with the educational decree poster first um our goal is in the next five years to move um upgrade our house just a tad bit um i with size or build and i really would like my office to be like the ravenclaw common room so I started to get some things. Um, one poster I got was this Hedwig one that's kind of, um, I don't know, it's really pretty to me. And I can't remember the artist's name. Um, Chris Cantwell? Maybe? Uh, something. I will definitely leave it linked below, but it's just Hedwig with a really cool background um, carrying Harry's broom and then I forgot that I had ordered that <laughs> which I don't know how because that's probably the one thing I was the most excited about and then I also got um educational decree number 157 which I think this one is about um 
any uh, anyone found with a daily or a copy of the quibbler uh, will be in trouble <laughs> yeah any student found in possession of the quibbler will be expelled so I thought these were really cool um, I wish they had more of them but I'll kind of uh, keep an eye out and see if I can collect any more of them and just have those around my room when we move. And then um, packaged really nicely, which reminds me of the packaging um, when Hagrid and Harry got this from Gringotts for Dumbledore. But just wrapped up inside some packing paper is a replica of the Philosopher's Stone. I think it's just like a resin, but it's a really nice color. Um, oh, there, that's a flat edge, so that's probably how it sits. Just, just a nice little stone. And then the wands. So, like I said, it was a three-pack mystery bundle. Um, ooh, this one's cool. Uh, this is the Osseum wand. It is three and a half inches and the core is a hippogriff talon and it's beech wood. These are actually my first wands. Um, I've made them when I was a kid. That's really cool. It's got a really interesting curve to it. Ooh, and then like a finger notch. This reminds me of, um, a violin bow you would put your finger uh, where the frog ends and then hold it like this <laughs> which is fun but I really like the colors of this it's got the light and the dark on it and it's got a good weight to it as well so that one's really cool um, I wanted ones myself just to have but also I thought these would be cool um, decorations and stuff for our wedding I'm not going to fuss with putting that one back together. Ooh, this one's really cool. Um, this is the Monolithus wand. It is also three and a half inches. Uh, core is dra dragon, heartstring, and wood type is red cedar. And this has really cool um, designs on it. It's kind of not focusing. There we go. And it's just that way all around. It's got a square edge. And then it's a nice dark wood and it's very straight also very hefty um i think i like the other wand better but this one's still really cool and then the last wand is oh this one's so cool um the card got stuck <laughs> this one is the variety lapis wand uh three and a half sorry 13 and a half inch length uh, core is a basilisk fang and wood type is silver maple i really like this one um it's kind of a a dark gray color and it twists all the way down and then it's got uh it kind of reminds me of like a dragon egg almost and then the end has i that's probably not real but it looks like um turquoise so that's really cool. I like this one too. This one's got a good weight as well. So those are my first three uh, wands, which is super fun to have. I'm going to go show the boys now because I think they'll probably like to see these. Oh, and then let me show you the books I got. Now that my um, desk is a mess with boxes and things. Um, the first one I got is Vasa in the Night, which I've been looking at on Book Outlet for a long time because it was only like $1.99. I haven't read it. Um, A Torch Against the Night. Is that Amber in the Ashes? Is that the second one or the third one? I've read the first two in um, that series and I would really like to reread them. And then I got Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I uh, haven't read All the Ever Afters, which is a... Um, Cinderella's Stepmother retelling. Um, Alex Approximately I haven't read yet. Uh, the Dollmaker of Krakow I uh, haven't read. Uh, Frost, -like or Frost Like Night is I think the third book in the Snow Like Ashes uh, series, which I have the first one. 
And then A Crystal Dark and Lonely. I'm not planning to read this until the trilogy or the series is complete, but it was a really good price, so I thought I'd get it. Um, Escaping from Houdini. I have two of them. I think this is the last one, or maybe it is the third one. I don't know, but I haven't read it yet. Um, Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which I have read, and then Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan, which I know is a little controversial opinion-wise. A lot of people haven't been liking it, but I thought, why not because of the price? So those are my um, book outlet books that I got, and now I'm going to uh, get to finishing uh, Court of Thorns and Roses. All right, so I um, just finished editing what I have of this vlog already and need to do um, an ending clip. Uh, yesterday I did sit down and read A Court of Thorns and Roses overall or finish it. Overall I am giving it a four star rating and I really enjoyed it. I was really surprised by it because I thought for sure Sarah J Mass was not going to be for me and I don't think her um, Um, Air of Fire, the assassin one with Selena is going to be for me. Um, but yeah, I honestly, um, like decided that Cassandra Clare and Sarah J Mass weren't going to be for me. And for the longest time, I wasn't going to read either of them. Um, Cassandra Clare, I would say, didn't live up to the hype that I was expecting, but, um, at least with A Court of Thorns and Roses, I'd say Sarah J. Mass did, so I was very, very pleasantly surprised by that. Um, still not entirely sure what direction it's going. Um, Darshell and I are going to start A Court of Mist and Fury, is that the next one? Um, the blue one. We're starting that uh, later next week because I did start reading Winterwood by Shea Earnshaw. I only got um, through the prologue in chapter one. And then Darshell has a book that she needs to finish up before it needs to be returned. So we're gonna take probably the first half of the week to finish. <gasps> Sorry, our books um, and then pick up the second book in the series starting the last half of next week. So overall, um, even with like a super, super busy week traveling, I still made a lot of progress in my books. I haven't really talked about Us Against You in a while. Um, I've been making progress on that as well. I've only got about four hours left, but, um, because I was like actually in an office with my colleagues and not sitting in my home office. I couldn't just sit and listen to my audiobook while I was working. So the only time I really got to listen to audiobooks was while I was getting ready for work or getting ready for bed. Um, and sometimes I would instead watch YouTube videos. Sorry. Um, so I'll definitely finish up that up early this next week. But, um, like I said, overall I had a really good week reading-wise as well as travel-wise. And it'll it'll be one to remember for sure. So um, that is going to be everything for this vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I'd really love to know if you read either A Court of Thorns and Roses or Us Against You. I'd really like to chat about um, just thoughts down in the comments below. So please do chat with me down there and... That's where I'll be until my next video. Bye!